Assam government redesignates the post of deputy commissioner as district commissioner. So now deputy commissioner renamed as district commissioner. This is an order and to be uh, implemented with immediate effect. Now, in a notification as per the orders by the governor of Assam, it states for administrative expediency and in the interest of public service, the governor of Assam is pleased to redesignate the post of deputy commissioners as district commissioner with immediate effect. Remember, you know, as per the governor of Assam, why these things are brought, why the renaming of re deputy commissioner to district commissioner, because it will actually bring administrative expediency and also for the interest of public service. Now, the Saints grant this is the authority to transfer both gazetted and non-gazetted officers, including those in the fourth and third grades within their respective disease, uh, districts. However, for the transfer of gazetted officers, approval from the concerned guardian minister will be required. So more power will be coming through this change. Now, moreover, the statutory powers previously vested in divisional commissioner's office will now be transferred to principal secretary of the general administrative department this reallocation aims to streamline administrative processes and ensure efficient governance. So one line answer that why these things is both, why this uh, renaming of deputy commissioner to district commissioner, because first of all, this reallocation will streamline administrative processes and ensure effect, efficient governance. Or you can say directly that as part of governor of Assam, this will bring administrative expediency and for the interest of public service. And one plus point is that one more power uh, being added with the sense that this sense will grant DC2 now, transfer both gazetted and non-gazetted officers, including those in fourth and third grade within their respective districts. And but for the transfer of the gazetted officer, of course, the approval from the guardian minister will be required. Now let's see further. Uh, deputy commissioner. Under that, we have additional deputy commissioners, CEO, Zilla Parishad, Project Director, DRDA, SDO Civil, SDO Sardar. Then now, circle officer, EAC, election officer, treasury officer. You can see the hierarchy, deputy commissioner, under that additional deputy commissioner, and under that those different various posts. Now, if you look at the history, my or you can say evolution of the office of the deputy commissioner is in Assam. It's a very good uh, paper you can find in the journal says says publications. You can just type like evolution of the office of the deputy commissioner in Assam. Just read this at least this uh, means uh, abstract part. The evolution of the office of the district officer known as deputy commissioner in Assam is a living story of India's history. Its origin is relatable to a concept, the concept of territorial unit of administration, the district having a head. Means what? This district administration uh, actually that comes, uh, does this particular uh, designation comes from the um, concept of administering an office, uh, office of the head of the uh, district. And this particular post is known as district officer. Now, the head of the district administration has been known under various names because different periods came and within different periods, different names for the particular head of the district administration or head of the, you can say district. Now, in the time or during the time of Mauryan period, it was known as Razukas. Razukas means the district, uh, head of the district administration during Mauryan period. Remember, Razukas is, was the head of the district administration during Mauryan period. After that, under the Guptas, the Vishwapati, then Amul Gujar or Amil during the Mughal government and in our Assam under the Ahoms, this post was known as Raskwa. Yes, Raskwa uh, is actually the head of the district administration. It was, however, only under the British that the term district officer became a very popular connotation or connotation. As a designation, the, however, the term district officer is just only in fact and not in law. 
either today or during the British rule. It was and is in common use officially as a composite generic description to cover the multiple nature of the government representative in the district. As the head of the criminal administration of the district, the district officer is the district magistrate. Remember, you I hope you have heard the term district magistrate, who is the head of the criminal administration of the district. Then as a chief revenue officer of the district, it is known as district collector. If, it, if he is the head of the chief revenue officer of the district, or you can say the chief revenue officer of that particular district, then that term, that designation is known as district collector and is called some areas as district magistrate and collector and in the non-regulated areas the deputy commissioner so deputy commissioner designation in the non-regulated areas whatever may be his designation the district officer is the kingpin of the administration so you have seen just let me tell you in brief you have seen the district administration had have gone through different names different designation name like Rajukas in Mauryan period, Vishwavati in Gupta, Amul Gujar or Amil in Mughal and in our Aho, Assam, Ahom during Ahom period, Raskua. But whatever the designation, he or she was the head of the district administration. And sometimes we call it as the district magistrate if he is or she is the, the head of the criminal administration. And as the chief revenue officer, the designation is known as district collector and in non-regulated areas, it is known as deputy commissioner. I hope it is clear to you. Now, this deputy commissioner is being now changed or renamed as what? District commissioner. So that's it. Thank you.